people have been moving to Portland for a while now. It's definitely been a very popular destination, but what if you don't want to live in Portland proper? I'm here to tell you that there are other options besides just living in the Portland city limits. I'm Jennifer Schurter, a realtor with Jennifer Schurter Homes, brokered by Real. Let's dig in, shall we? Extraspace.com, a storage company, oddly enough, just released an article talking about their top five favorite suburbs outside of Portland. So let's see what cities made the list. And I will tell you, they definitely have one thing in common. That's for sure. The first city on the list is Hillsboro, Oregon. You might know of Hillsboro as being that city out on the west side of the Portland metro area. It's in Washington County. And, you know, people like to live there because it's close to a lot of the things that they want to be close to. So you've got out there in the Hillsboro area, lots of shopping. You've got close access to the Oregon coast through Highway 6, the Wilson River Highway, and also Highway 26. Each of those highways will take you to different areas. If you want to go to Tillamook, where the cheese factory is, that's about an hour. And the same if you want to go to Seaside or Cannon Beach. You've got that access, and it's really close to get there. So if you're a beach lover... You know, Hillsboro might not be a bad place to check out. It's also close to a lot of employment that a lot of people want to be close to. Intel's located out there, as well as Tektronix and Nike and some of those other large companies that do drive a lot of employment for that particular area of the metro. If you're looking to buy a house in the Hillsboro area, you can expect a median sales price of around $550,000. Now, granted, that is based on information of when this video was filmed, February of 2023. If you're looking to rent in Hillsboro, you can expect a median rent price of around $2,500 to $2,600 per month. The next city on Extra Space's list is Lake Oswego. If you've lived in Portland for any length of time, then you know about Lake Oswego. It's that beautiful city just to the south of town, and it's that place where all the NBA players seem to go when they play for the Portland Trailblazers. It is situated on the Willamette River, and also Lake Oswego itself is a private lake located in the middle of the city. People are generally drawn to Lake Oswego, I would say, for the quality of life that Lake Oswego can bring to the table. It is a very picturesque area with, you've got the hills that overlook and you can see Mount Hood, you've got the Willamette River, and you can generally find a beautiful tree-lined street just about anywhere in Lake Oswego if that's what you want in your property. Lake Oswego is there stuff to do. If you like to poke around in shops and restaurants and kind of just go walk around and check things out, Lake Oswego has a lot of that to offer. If you like farmer's markets, I would say Lake Oswego's farmer's markets, one of my favorite farmer's markets out there. It's right in the core of downtown every Saturday from like spring until mid to late fall. It seems to stretch a really good season and the vendors are always really great there too. If you're looking for a place that offers beautiful scenery and quality of life with a more affluent feel to your lifestyle, then Lake Oswego could be the place for you. Lake Oswego, as far as purchasing a house, does come at a higher price tag. Right now, the median sales price here in February of 2023 is $1.9 million. I have seen properties on the market in Lake Oswego for a lot less than that. But again, that's the middle point. If renting is on your agenda in Lake Oswego, you can expect to spend a median rental price of around $3,600 per month. The next city on the list is Milwaukee, Oregon. It's another city situated kind of there on the Willamette River, heading south from Portland. Milwaukee does sit on the east side of the Willamette River across from Lake Oswego. Milwaukee is one of those places where if you drive down MLK from Portland to the south and you drive through and it becomes McLaughlin, it might be easy to say, wow, where's Milwaukee? It's just a bunch of car dealerships and gas stations. What am I looking at here? But if you turn left or you turn right, I think you'll be pleasantly surprised by what you see. Milwaukee is very, very charming, and there's lots of great things to do there, too. If you're looking for cute and charming neighborhoods with some 50s, 60s cottages and even some riverfront properties, then Milwaukee might be a great place for you to consider. If you're looking for a charming place that's still very commutable to Portland, then Milwaukee could be a great option. In addition, you're close to 205, so if you need to go to the airport, it's easy to get there too. If you're going to buy a house in Milwaukee, you can expect to spend a median sales price of around $517,000.
But if you're going to need to rent, the median rental price in Milwaukee is around $2,900 to $3,000 a month. The next city on the list is Oregon City. Now, Oregon City has some history tied into it. Back when Oregon was a baby state, it was actually considered to be the first city in the state of Oregon. It was actually at one point vying to be the state capital. Salem inevitably won that battle. But Oregon City is truly situated right there on the Willamette River, just like Lake Oswego and just like Milwaukee. So it was a channel for shipping and transportation in the early days of the city. Oregon City's downtown has had a major overhaul over the last several years, and it is so cool. There's lots of great restaurants and shops. That is a great vibe. There's this really awesome place called Corner 14 that is a food card pod where you can hang out with your family. You can order a cocktail from the bar and they bring it out to you. You can throw axes. Overall, there's just lots of really awesome things. And I will tell you that I think Oregon City is a place that a lot of people are sleeping on right now. And also, if you're a foodie, Canard, which is an esteemed restaurant in Portland, has a location in Oregon City. So I love Oregon City. I think on this list, it's probably my favorite out of all the cities listed because it's up and coming. It's scenic. It's beautiful. There's lots to do. And you're still really connected to the transportation channels you need to get where you need to go. Oregon City's right on I-205. So if you're going to Portland, if you're going south, you've got 99. But the airport is just about 25 minutes away. So don't sleep on Oregon City. It's a great spot. If you're going to buy a house in Oregon City, you can expect to spend a median price of around $618,000. If you need to rent in Oregon City, you can expect to spend around a median price of $1,900 to $2,000 a month. The final city on this list is West Lynn. Again, another city situated on the Willamette River. What I think is really cool about all these cities really is they all offer some degree of beautiful scenery, whether you're on a hill or down closer to the river. It's lush, it's green, and it's beautiful. And West Lynn's another one of those places where you feel like you're going to find a tree-lined, picturesque neighborhood to live in. West Lynn is one of those places that a lot of people go to because it offers a fantastic quality of life. It's close to where you need to be. It's got a charming and historic downtown area. And you've got the top of the hill and you've got the bottom of the hill at Highway 43, where there's a lot of services located. A variety of types of houses from townhomes and condos all the way up to big estates. Westland has a great variety of places for you to look at. If you're going to buy a house in Westland, you can expect a median sales price of around $800,000. You can expect a median rental price of around $3,900 a month. Oh, and in addition, one of my favorite Vietnamese places of all time is located in Westland. It's one of many locations. It's just the one that's closest to my house. It's La Seine Vietnamese Grill. Awesome. Love me some good Vietnamese food. So there you have it. According to Extra Space, those are the top Portland suburbs. What do you think of this list? Do you think they got it right? Did they miss something? But all I can say is if you're looking to move around the Portland suburbs and you're just not quite sure what to do or where to go, I would love to be of service to you. Thanks for watching.